Welcome again to our video production course. And this is the second part of the lesson where we're going to combine the audio and the visuals to create our video, which is actually what we call audio visual, okay? This lesson will show you where the rubber meets the road, okay, as um, we usually say, because this is where we are now going to use everything that you have created up until this point. Remember that we have edited an audio, we have created slides, we have saved those slides as JPEG files, okay, as images, okay, then what else have we done? We have found out the timing, okay, at what point will each slide show up? We have found that out and we used an Excel sheet with a formula to create that. So we're now going to combine all of those details and information, okay, to create our video. We went through the steps before. In the first part, we have completed the first two steps. So now we want to go from step three to step four, and to step five. Okay, so let's demonstrate that. The first thing I'm going to do is to pull up uh, Microsoft Photos. Microsoft Photos. That's the app we're going to be using. You may be surprised that how we use the Photos app to create video. Remember, we have said it before that the video is essentially a combination of audio and visuals. So this Photos app will help you to combine the visuals with your audio file to create your video. Okay. So I'm going to pull that up. Microsoft Photos. I need a new laptop. This laptop is becoming slow. Okay, open. So I'm going to open Microsoft Photos. Oh, yeah, I'm looking for Microsoft Photos. I know I could do, okay, this is it. Okay, it has not fully loaded. It's loading. This is what Microsoft Photos looks like. This is what they have looks like, Microsoft Photos. Okay, uh, it's a desktop app or a program if you like. So can you see video editor here? Video editor, so click on video editor in Microsoft Photos. Or if you like, you can just go to new video. Okay, there's an option for new video. Let me go back to photos. Okay, can you see new video here? You can go to new video and click new video. Then select a um, new video project. It's going to respond when the laptop is just, uh, there is a lot of load on it. And um, I think I just need a new laptop. But it's even much faster. Okay, so can you see? So this is where to bring you, but to give you an option to name your video. So let's wait for that. Um, Alternatively, you can click here, but I know it's going to bring you, so I don't want to click here and then just do double stuff. This is what I'm talking about. You see that it has given you the option to name your video, so I'm going to call this Faith Capsules. April 18, 2022, and uh, I'll pick OK. So this is exactly how to create your video. I'm showing you now. Fine, this is for faith capsules, but you can apply the same process to other videos for other purposes. So I'm going to click um, Add. On that project library, I'll click Add from this PC. So I'm going to add those 
clients that I exported as JPEG files. Remember? Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I go to the folder where I exported them. This is it. Okay, so, so I select everything. You'll find that all of the slides are there. Okay, so I'll just select, then I pick open. I select all and I pick open. So all of the slides are going to be here now. Uh, I hope you are seeing my screen. Now. But what I did here was to simply add those slides. Okay, I added those slides to Microsoft Photos. So now it's still adding files. So can you see? So it has added everything and selected everything. I know I want to use all of these slides in my video. So I will keep everything selected as they already had, and I pick place in the storyboard. So I'll just put place in the storyboard. So this is where I'm going to create my video. This is the storyboard. This is the storyboard. This is where I'm going to preview this um, top right corner. Okay, it's the preview. Now let us go back to, we have to set duration for each of the slides. This is where our Excel sheet comes in. The Excel sheet we created before, remember? That's where it comes in, this Excel sheet. So now we have the durations. The first slide, the duration is 14, okay? The difference between the first and the second slide, the duration is 14. The difference between the second and the third slide, the duration is 28, on and on and on until we get to two. So I'm going to just use that 14, 28, 14, 22. So let me start with doing it. Let me be doing it um, three by three so that I will not uh, mix things up. 14, 28, 14. So the first um, transition is 14 seconds. The next one is 28 seconds. The next one is 14 seconds. Then I continue like that. Okay, so I'll go back to Microsoft Photos. So this now, I change the duration to 14. I put 14 here. Then the next one, <laughs> I think, uh, okay, 14, 28, 14. The next one is 28. You can select and click duration here, okay? 28 seconds, or you can simply click here and change your duration, okay? You see, so whichever, whichever way, 14, 28, 14. Or you can select the slide and then pick duration. That might be easier, whichever one is easier for you. So the first three are filled then, 14, 28, 14. Then we have 22, 20, 10. 22, 20, 10, okay. 22, enter. 20, enter. 10. And I think the next one is 21. 21. Okay, so let's go back. Okay. Yes, 20, 10, 21. Um, let me be sure. <laughs> because if I miss this, then now I have to do it over again. Okay, 20, 10, 21. Okay. Then the next after 21 is um, 24, 28, 25. 24, 28, 35. 24, 28, 35. Okay, then next one. Is um, okay, eight, twelve, and two. Eight, twelve, and two. Okay, so I come back here, eight, twelve, and two. So when you look at the total duration, when you look at the total duration of the video before you even create it, you'll find that it's now you know, it's the exact duration of the um, audio file, four minutes, eight seconds. Okay, that's the duration. So you now come here, uh, okay, well, maybe we should open it so that you will see. Um, where is the audio file? Okay, 
Okay, so this is the audio file that we created. Four minutes, can you, okay, okay, it's three minutes, 59 seconds. Okay, so fine, can you see? So it's three minutes, 59 seconds, I'm checking. So that means there, are, there has been a mistake somewhere. So you need to check, it has to be the same thing. So this is three minutes, 59 seconds. So how come our own is four minutes, eight seconds? So there has been a mistake somewhere. So let's check again, let's check um, the total here. And you need to be careful of um, avoiding mistakes. Now, so let's check our total here. 238 seconds. 238 seconds is what? Um, 200 and, um, yeah, that's in order. That's three minutes, 58 seconds. So what did we do wrong here? Three minutes, 58 seconds. So which is what we just saw now. You know, it's still like um, the same thing. Three minutes, 58 seconds and three minutes, 59 seconds. It's fine. So that means um, we're in order. Let me check again. Two minutes. Um, I'm checking the audio. You know, it's okay. Three minutes, 59 seconds. Okay, that's fine. So but. What we have here now, what we have here is um, four minutes, eight seconds. So that means there has been a mistake. What we have on the Microsoft photos is four minutes, eight seconds. But when we go back to our PowerPoint, sorry, when we go back to our Excel and we look at the sum, it's 238 seconds, which still boils down to three minutes, 58 seconds. You understand which um, aligns with what we're doing. Or we can change this to three if you want it to be 59 seconds, but it's not necessary because we know that the speech itself ends at three minutes, 56 seconds. Do you understand? Okay, but how do we now have four minutes, eight seconds? So let's go back. So we have 14, 28, 14. Let's go back. 14, 28, 14, okay. Then, 14, 20, 14, 22, 20, 10. Okay, 14, 20, 14, 22, 20, 10. Okay, so we're correct to this point. You can raise the hand. Then 21, 24, 28. After 10, 21, 24, 28. 21, 24, 28. Okay, so after 28, what next? 35, 8, 12, 35, 8, 12, okay, let's check that. So 35, 8, 12, okay, oh, I see where the error is. <laughs> then after 38, 8, 35, 8, 12, the last one is two. Okay, it's supposed to be two, then I wrote 12, mistakenly. Maybe I have even seen that before I did. Okay, so instead of 12, yeah, it shouldn't be 12, it should be two. Okay, so I put two here. Okay, that was a mistake. So now when you look at it, can you see? So it is now three minutes, 58 seconds, but there is no audio yet. But we're in the process of building it. We've already created our visuals. Okay, if you play this, it's going to play, but there is no audio. It's going to just keep playing, and then you are going to see the slides showing up, but there won't be any audio. So what we're going to do now is we're now going to add the audio. Okay, so to make things um, easier, so I'm just going to add the audio at the beginning. So can you see the slides are beginning to show, but that's not what we want. So I'll go back to the first slide. Okay, you can do it from anywhere, but it's easier. You see why now. I'll go back to the first slide and I come to custom audio. Let me be sure that I'm sharing the right screen. Okay, so I come to custom audio. So I click custom audio, so can you see? Custom audio, then add the audio file. So I'll now add the edited audio file that we created at first. Like I said, this thing is very easy. You just need to practice. But when you are you know, watching the tutorials for the first time, it looks like, ah, this process is you know, fine. The process may be long, I don't know that, but it is not difficult, okay? And these are some of the things you factor in when you are building your clients, you know, okay? <laughs> so this is, a, well, for just for the records, well, is it necessary to say that well? For the records, we are partners with the Shepherds Act, so it's not everything we do that we charge for, we understand the hair. But now, if we're not doing this, you probably wouldn't have the opportunity to learn this, you know? Okay, so those are some of the things we look at. But when you are working with your clients, those that you need to charge for, okay, you factor in all of these things. Okay, so this is the audio that we created. So we're going to open it, okay, and add it to our, and you see, so it has spanned you. This is why I said it should 
starts from the first. If you did not start from the first slide, you may now have to start dragging and all of that for it to cover the entire video. Okay, so just click it on once you have added the audio. Okay, then we usually we add background music. So come to background music. For this particular project, we have a particular background music that we're already using. Okay. We have a particular background music that we use for this particular project, and it's a Misty Mountain Top. This is it. Okay. Then I recommend that. I recommend that you pick this option, sync your video to the music bit. Then usually for us, we just put this, we put the music volume at 30, or you can do whatever works for you. But if you're working on this particular project, you want to follow you know, these steps that, that we're showing, except you can show us that you have something better and then we we'll do together, then we we'll because we're always constant, we're always improving. So we believe in constant improvement, okay? So done. Okay, so now your video is practically ready. So you can now play, you can play your video, I'm not sure if you can hear the audio because the primary setting of this recording is to capture um, um, sound from the microphone, not from the speaker. But let me play the video for you all the same. I uh, advise that you listen to the whole, you know, before you finish, listen to the whole video, to the entire video. And then you can also scroll through, okay? You can scroll through and see, and then you play and see if what is showing on the screen is what is being said. Do you understand? And that is the essence of what you did at first when you were listening to the audio and you know, checking out the timing and putting it in Excel. You want to make sure that, okay, what is showing on the screen is what is being said or it's coming up at the right time. Okay, so that is it. So your video is ready. What you need to do now is to export it. So you can use it, so finish video. So just click on this uh, button, finish video. You know, I recommend that you pick the recommended settings, export in high resolution format, 1080 pixels or 1080p, okay? Uh, this is what we're going to upload to YouTube. We're still going to export as 540p, which is the smallest file size. Then we're going to edit this further Okay, to make it easier to share on uh, mobile platforms like WhatsApp, okay? But uh, first of all, download the high resolution video. Then it also depends on what you are using the video for. If this is going on TV, for example, it's the 1080p that will go on TV, okay? But if you want to export it for maybe Facebook, the 720p is actually okay. Okay, so videos, okay, uh, so this is... Um, before, okay, April 18, 2022. Okay, so I'll just export this. So once the export is done, once it has finished exporting, you are going to be able to open the folder where you exported it to, and you'll be able to play that video from there. So that is the process of creating your video podcast. So uh, after you click finish video and you export, okay, you pick where you want to export to, which I have done. Okay, you pick where you want to export to, you select the location on your laptop and then you export. Okay, so the export has completed. Now, once the export completes, the video will play. Okay, but I don't want to show that. So I'll just show you where the video is in the folder that it was exported to. 
Okay, um, where is the folder? Okay, this is the folder. So this is that video, Faith Caps Tuesday 18, 2022. So I can open this now and play it. I can upload it to YouTube. I can use it for a lot of purposes. Okay, so I'm fast forwarding through the video just to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the real video. Okay, and it's important that you master this thing because it's going to be useful for you in a lot of ways. Okay, it's going to be useful for you in a lot of ways, some of which we have explained before. And another one even just came to mind now. We have a book, um, Order, Order Your Life, that is in multiple formats. And we also have a video book for it. So imagine that you are handling a publishing project for a client and you talk about creating an audio book and also creating a video book. This process that we've taken you through this um, course is going to help you to do both the audio book and the video book. So your client is happier, you are creating more value you know, on that project for your client and for the users, and you also are making more money. So everybody's happy, you understand. So these are just some of the things, a lot of ways it could even be useful for you as a researcher. It just depends on how you want to apply these things. There is almost any field, there is almost no field where you will not find a very relevant application of all of these things that we have covered, which is why we call it multi-purpose video production, how to produce videos for you know, a, a wide range of purposes. Okay, so that brings us um, to the end of this particular lesson, but we're still going to do a bit of video editing. So don't go away just yet. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out and ask your questions. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.